I suppose there's a reason for this visit. You think? Why are you always such, such a... Such a what? What do you want? Why are you here? Can a girl come visit her father? How long has it been? I hardly recognized you. You don't look any younger yourself. 20 years, maybe? 18. 18. Not a note, not a birthday card, not an address saying where you were. You just disappeared. Yeah, and you know why? I mean, we never got along well, but, 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 but that's normal. Please. You doing therapy and, and, and think I raped you no, or something? Nothing like that. You're being kind of mysterious. Yeah, I'll have some coffee. How do you take it? Black. It's not that I don't want to see you. It's just such a surprise, you know, out of nowhere. A sudden, kind of a shock to the system. You like Robert Frost? Love him. You ever read uh, Death of a Hired Man? I know it by heart. You like Frost? You know that line in Death of a Hired Man, home is when you have to go there, they have to take you in? Are you in trouble? As it happens, this is the last place I would go if there was any other. What's going on? You name it. Broke, hurt, down and out. Sick? Are you sick? Well, I ought to eat more vegetables and quit smoking, but other than that... Down and out, huh? You doing drugs? Not now. But you did a lot, right? Off and on. Mm. Fry your brain, can't keep a job or a relationship. What have you been up to since Mom died? Working, living, getting by. I wanted to send you a copy of the funeral book they gave us, but uh, I didn't know where to send it. Poor Mom. You say that now, now that it's too late. It's true, no matter when I say it. I suppose. Poor Dottie. You gonna stay here? Is that gonna work? Glad to have you. Are you? Of course. You're the prodigal daughter, like in the Bible. Oh yeah. Anyone you wanna see that might still be around? No one. So don't throw any damn party for me. I, I ain't no prodigal and I don't want any damn party. Let me clear out the guest room. Hi. No, he took me in. Not tonight. I gotta go. You got luggage? Yeah, it's in my car. Want me to bring it in? No, I can get it. What do you want for dinner? Relax, Dad. Don't push it. Don't try so hard to be nice. I'm just glad to see you. <laughs> it's okay, Dad. It's gonna be okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll cook dinner. What do you like? Oh, anything. You know, there's some groceries there. I was I was gonna go shopping, but you you could make a list. Or, or come with me. 
I'll give you a list. Okay. Put what you want me to make on it. Okay. I remember this right. You are an awful cook. <laughs> yeah, you you remember right. You remember right. I, I eat out a lot. Uh, you want to eat out? Uh, uh, kind of celebrate tonight. No. Let's eat here. Sure you don't want to come with me? I'm sure. Okay, then the remote to the TV is on the little table. Okay, thanks. Okay, then. Me. Well, maybe tomorrow. Let's let him get used to me being around first. I love you too. Steak? Oh, I'm off red meat. You should be too. Why is that? Bad for the heart. I mean, why aren't you having any? It's bad for the heart. Well, you don't mind if I enjoy it, do you? Enjoy it all you want. Perfect. Mm. You still a redneck? I wasn't any redneck. You remember why I left? Been a long time. Yeah, but do you remember? You remember. You just don't want to acknowledge the dick that you were. It was over that black guy. Yeah, the black guy. The one you threatened with a shotgun? Whatever happened to him? I mean, after you ran off with him. He's dead. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. When was that? More than 10 years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. You still a leftist commie dupe? You know, sometimes you can still be a real dick. That doesn't answer the question. If I'm a redneck, then you're a commie. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lefty. How bad is it? You part of some Marxist commie underground or something? He'll think so. I'm a Democrat. Almost as bad. <laughs> what do you do? Spend your days listening to Rush Limbaugh and watching Fox News? Let's not talk politics. All right. Let's talk about something else. What else? How do you feel about lesbians? You have a conversion experience? Gonna love me any less if I fall in love with a woman? Aren't there enough nice black guys around? Where is she? Staying at a motel near here. You wanna bring her here? Where's your house? I you can bring her here. In fact, I'd like to meet her. Why? Just do. Just curious. have her here in the morning. I'll make sure Fox News isn't on.
Sad. You want some too? Ah, uh, sure. This is a little awkward for me. What is? You know, this... Uh, Having people over and serving them coffee. I haven't had lesbians over before. How do you know? So, so what do you do? Right now I'm, I'm in between things. What sort of things are you in between? Uh, bank robbing, blackmail, extortion, prostitution. You're kidding. Of course I'm kidding. Amazing. So how long have you been a lesbian? How long you been a heterosexual? As long as I can remember, I've always been attracted to women. So we have something in common. Let me ask you something. Okay. If someone said to you, from now on, for the rest of your life, you could only be with men, no women, could you do it? Oh, no. So? What about Sydney? Uh, sh she used to like men. She probably still does. So, so why is she with you? Because she likes women, too. What do you think? I'm way out of my league. Do you believe in freedom? That's why I'm a Republican. Am I free to live my life the way I want? That's not the point. It isn't? The Bible. Am I free to not believe in the Bible? I suppose. So why should I care what the Bible says? Well, I do. And you're free to think that. Well, if everyone did whatever they wanted to do, there'd be chaos. So you think people aren't to be trusted? Of course they're not to be trusted. Think of the Holocaust, Hitler, WW2. So Hitler was okay with everyone living their lives the way they saw fit? No, he, he was a dictator. So he felt that there was a way that people should be? Of course. We actually don't know how things might have turned out if Hitler was okay with people being how they are. So, let me get this straight. You're gay because you're gay. Bravo. What do you girls want for dinner? Why don't we surprise you? Suit yourselves. Nice having you here. You don't have to be nice. I know I don't. So that's my father. can't smoke that in here. You need to go out. Did you call? Yes, but they won't give me a lot of information. I'm not family. What if? You can't think like that. I wish I could help it. You did what you had to do. Did I? Yeah. Everything OK? Room OK? We were so busy fencing, I forgot to say thank you for letting me stay here. Pleasure. You're quite a girl. Looks and brains. You still resent me for being gay. <laughs> you can't help it. Same as you can't help being straight. What do you both want for dinner? You want to go out? No. Uh, um, I'd rather eat here. Ashamed of your daughter? Some things take getting used to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine with anything. I'll cook. She's the cook in the family. My mom was a great cook. That she was. You must miss her. Every day. Well, I'll, I'll leave you to it. He's actually really sweet.
You want some coffee? I'll get it. Looks like it's gonna let up. How'd you sleep? How'd you sleep? I was awake some of the night. If there's anything you wanna talk about. No, I just take after mom, get off to a slow start in the morning. Right. So it'll be okay? No, no, okay. Okay. He'll be okay. Thank God. I thought you didn't believe in God. I do today. What's next? Maybe I should turn myself in. That would be a disaster. But maybe it's the right thing to do. You can't play fair in an unfair game. We could ask your dad. Are you kidding? He's an idiot. Maybe you don't actually see how he really is. I see him. Fine. Have it your way. But I might still ask him for advice anyway. Why? Because he's one of them. He's a redneck. Dad? Nicole wants to ask you something. Okay. What would you do if a gay guy tried to have his way with you? I'd deck him. What if he were stronger than you? I'd fight like hell. And what should a gay guy do if a straight guy attacks him for being gay? Get the hell out of there and stay out of a place he doesn't belong. What if you were somewhere you belonged? Is this going someplace? Yeah. Nicole got attacked by a guy that tried to rape her. So she fought him off. Good for you. But she stabbed him. Oh, no. We just heard from the hospital that he made it out of surgery and he'll be okay. Could have lost his life. Shit. So what should I do? Go to the police. He was the police, Dad. He was? He, he was a policeman? Yeah. Yeah. Then you, then you can't go to the police. Nicole thinks that she should report it. I just want to do what's right. You can't go to the police. You just can't. 
Did he see you? Does he know who you are? I think he knows what I look like. It was dark, though. He doesn't know who I am. Do you know who he is? Yeah. It was on the news. What did they report? Just that a policeman was stabbed in his name. They made it sound like he was in the line of duty. It's not likely he had reported he was trying to rape someone. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I feel... I don't know. Guilty, I guess. Self-defense? Yeah, but... Nicole, come here. Sweetie, you can't go to the police. It doesn't serve anything. And justice has been served. That's what I told her. Then listen to your girlfriend. Where was this, anyway? Boston. Boston. That's far enough away. Another state. Besides, those Boston police are real assholes. And you can stay here as long as you need to. You don't mind? Well, I don't mind. It'd be nice to have the company. It's amazing. Welcome home.